uh, before I start, I usually just do kind of like a background information on the photos. Um, the reason why I chose to take a picture of feet, if you are my Facebook friend or you follow me on Instagram, um, mostly those are a lot of pictures of my piecitos. I uh, have this uh, thing called los piecitos. So whether I'm with people, like whatever event we're going to, whatever moment we're into, like I usually ask them like, hey, can we take a picture together of our feet? And usually um, I'll upload that picture and it tells like, a, it has like a caption, like a story, right? And so that I've been doing that for like, maybe it's been like less than a year, almost a year, I don't know. So I like to do that because a lot of our bodies are very sacred and um, sometimes we don't stop to realize where we're at and um, like it tells a story where we're at, like how you feel. So I don't know, that's why. So uh, the caption was young sisterhood. And I, um, I never had any blood sisters, so spiritual sisterhood is very important to me since many of them have, have been nurtured in, um, in the motivation and inspiration that dwell out of every step I take in the ground. Every Friday in Santana, we meet at Bridge Park or at Centro Cultural de Mexico to talk about our journeys, our bodies, and our sisterhood. It's only through grassroots efforts that we kept our Círculo de Coyoshaki alive. Whether we route in different directions, that doesn't matter because it's only seven or more girls that have been empowered by sisterhood and community, and that's stronger than any funded group project. And the reason why I said that is because the, when we started out, um, it's really hard to um, keep a, a group running and we've been around for me I guess I want to say like maybe two years and really grassroots like you know like one of us one of us not, I don't drive but one of my other friend drives and like we all hustle to like meet together on Fridays and like we have another mujer she drives from um, LA she commutes from work and she picks up the other girls and um, we talk about things that you wouldn't talk about with your mom you know like you talk about your cycles your womb cycles we talk about, last time we just we just had a workshop on like what herbs to um, are good for your body to protect you. And then I remember like I think it was a couple years ago, or, I mean a couple months ago, we had a, a workshop to do our own pads. And um, I'm I'm very open to say those things because of the, the circle and the gathering that we've had. Um, and it, it, I mean before as a as a woman I wouldn't speak about those things. And um, you know. I don't know, I think it's important, right? It's something beautiful, so, um, yeah. And then my other picture, um, it's called Mis Pies Reflect in Santana. And for almost a year, I have documented my feet. Los pesitos, los pesitos on every ground step I take. Our bodies are wonderful temples that many times we've stopped to think about us. That we don't, yeah, we don't stop to think, think about us. My feet are a reminder of my ancestors, my abuelas, and my mom's mom because they have small feet. The very small feet that nurture the ground and raise the familia and, or that have had the courage to cross the border desert for a better life like my mom, which without knowing came a young mujer who has walked urban grounds and works for a community with ampollas or knives. And it's a reminder of who I am in Santana. I am a collection of salsa spices dipped onto a plate called Mother Earth's Ground, or most likely Pachamama's. 